Hi Global Entrepreneurs, welcome to BGI's YouTube channel. We've had quite an interesting couple of months interviewing key stakeholders in the Portuguese startup ecosystem. We've interviewed investors to startup founders to policy makers. Our goal is to shine some light on the innovation and entrepreneurial ecosystem in Portugal. We hope you enjoy this episode. Um, Joao, thank you so much <laughs> for being My here. My pleasure. And um, mm. we just want to know more about the Portugal Innovation Fund. So I'll open the floor for you to tell us a little bit about um, the, what the Portugal um, Social Innovation Fund is. Okay, great. So thank you very much. Thanks for the invitation. Um, and I'll jump right into the, the question. So Portugal Social Innovation, um, well, so the Social Innovation Fund is one of the instruments of a uh, government initiative called Portugal Social Innovation. We have four instruments. And I think it's better to describe first what is this government initiative very briefly, and then I will focus into the Social Innovation Fund. <clears throat> it was created in the late 2014 uh, with two objectives. The first one was to promote social entrepreneurship and social innovation as a way to generate new solutions for key societal challenges that we have that we had at that time in Portugal and we still have the majority of them. And then those solutions could act maybe as a complement or maybe even replace the traditional approach and traditional approach meaning the approach that the Portuguese state uses to overcome certain societal challenges. And there's a second objective. And the second objective was to foster the social investment and the impact investment market in Portugal. And to do so, we have developed four instruments that, that are better adjusted to the specific needs of these types of entities. And we have developed a portfolio. It's a, a blended finance program with four instruments. It's a mix of financing and financial instruments. Uh, the Social Innovation Fund actually has two instruments within it. A debt instrument, a wholesaler debt instrument that is yet to be launched. It, it was supposed to be launched in March 2020, but then this COVID-19 situation yeah. postponed the... <clears throat> the official launch, but there's a, a equity instrument, a SIF, Social Innovation Fund Equity Instrument, uh, in, in Portuguese we call Fish Capital. It was launched in April to, uh, 2019 and it uh, behaves in a similar way as an impact VC. So we invest in startups, impact startups, social innovation startups, um, in tickets that can be as low as 25 K as high as 2.5 million euros per investment round. We never invest alone. We always co-invest alongside private investors. 70% our ticket, 30% the, um, the, the private investor ticket. Uh, both we and the private investor that is co-investing with us cannot have more than 50% of the uh, overall equity of the company. Uh, the idea is to behave exactly as a VC. Um, then there are call options for the private investor that uh, is co-investing with us. So they can um, buy our equity and we do our exit. And then we use that money to revolve and to co-invest in another uh, impact startup. So because our idea is to leverage private capital to the pool of the in, or to the impact scene, let's say. So we behave pretty much as a as a as a leverage and as a impact VC. Um, we will make investments until December 2023. So far, we have approved four, uh, but we are doing our due diligence on 14 more deals and our. Well, we can, we can co-invest with one or more than one investor. We can co-invest with a pool of investors, as long as there's a lead investor on that pool. Okay. And we can co-invest as well as, uh, we, we can co-invest with Portuguese or private or uh, foreign investors. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't need to be Portuguese or it doesn't need to be foreign investors. Um, and I think like the, the main, the main requirements, the main characteristics of the fund is this. So we are looking for uh, impact startups to co-invest alongside private investors. Okay, that is fantastic. And I love the fact that you have like different divisions that focus on different things. That makes you unique um, in, in, in a variety of ways because I believe um, you also do some sort of like um, grant financing yes. in addition to the equity financing. So how do you determine 
which is which because you could as well invest do the equity financing or what what do you is there like a criteria the startup has to meet for you to either go through the grant financing route or the equity financing route well as i said we have four instruments and each one has its own characteristics um and uh it usually the the investment ready uh the investment ready are not seeking for grants and usually the startups that are seeking for grants because they are at a very initial stage and they need to have a kind of a balloon of oxygen to evolve their intervention to test to improve um, their social intervention to grow their structure to grow their impact to decide uh, which way to go which way not to go in terms of operations and in terms of impact assessment in terms of management yeah. so usually these types of very early stage startups are not investment ready yet so it's quite easy to understand which are the ones we, we, uh, that are already investment ready and the ones that are not but we have four instruments and we are uh, we open calls for projects in the fourth instrument the social innovation fund we have a proactive approach so we are constantly screening the market and um, managing our pipeline and seeking for new opportunities. We are more uh, reactive on the other instruments. So usually they need to make a, a submit an application okay. for that grant. And uh, in order to get our grant, they need to have 30% of their spending needs covered by a grant from a third party. So we match fund the grant. We never do grants alone as well, mm -hmm. as well as investment. So our idea, the whole idea of the Portugal Social Innovation is with these four instruments is not to become the market uh, and this would be dangerous at medium to long term because when it comes to time that it does not make sense to continue with political social innovation all of a sudden there's a pool of money a pool of uh, social startups a pool of a lot of social sector organizations that went down right yeah. and maybe yeah. some of them went out of business um and that's not what we want what mm -hmm. we want is to bring private capital to the table, bring social investors, bring impact investors, mm -hmm. um, regardless if they are looking for market returns or, or if they are just looking for uh, social sector organizations to do grants. We want them to bring them and work together and to contribute for the development of the market. Mm -hmm. And it would be a perfect scenario if there was no need for a portal social innovation in 10 years. Yeah. Okay. That is perfect. So I, it is wishful so thinking. Huh? <laughs> yes. So uh, two, two things. First of all, uh, Portugal Social Social Innovation Fund part of the two hundred million fund that was developed by the government, or is this sort of like a different thing? That's the first. It's a different one. thing. It's a different. That's a different thing. thing. Okay. Yeah. For, then, go, the uh, our money, Portugal Social Innovation, has a slot of one hundred fifty million euros that comes from the European funds. That's one thing. Then you have the 200 million um, co-investment fund, which is a different thing. The money comes from other uh, source yes. and is targeting startups, tech startups in four or five sectors. But it's different things. They, mm. they, they, they are managed by the same entity, uh, which is PMEA HT Mentors. So yes. the fund manager is the same, but it's completely different funds with okay. different goals any different uh, uh, objectives. Okay. And the second thing I wanted to find out was that because you mentioned something really key, how you co-invest not only with um, domestic investors, but also with um, foreign investors if they want to I mean, invest in certain kinds of startups in the, in the Portuguese ecosystem. So how, how has that been working out for you? Because um, in terms of like trying to attract foreign investors. I know you said some, some instruments you are reactive, some of it you are proactive. Would you say to get foreign investors, you are much more proactive or reactive? Or does this, is this difference in how you relate with domestic investors or, or, or foreign investors? Hmm. I don't think there's a, a standard uh, way to do things. Uh, there's a lot of serendipity in the process of uh, trying to bring private investors on board, regardless if they are Portuguese or from abroad. Um, I would say that uh, in the deals that we are uh, analyzing to decide if we will actually make an investment or not in the social innovation fund, two thirds of the co-investors are from abroad. Uh, and there's different reasons for that. Some of them, 
were uh, attracted by the investees. So the startup in which we will do the investment already brought bring their um, bring the private co-investor to co-invest with us. And sometimes this co-investor is is already from another country. Um, and you know, a lot of startups do acceleration programs uh, abroad and has uh, relevant networks. Um, so it's some, sometimes you don't do nothing, they just appear with the, the investee. Uh, there also, the, uh, there are in investors that we have met in the past and we, do co we constantly are doing uh, Zoom calls to uh, uh, try to work on them uh, and, to, and try to invest in second, in follow-on rounds with uh, startups uh, that they have in their portfolio. Uh, and we believe that they would do great in Portugal and that they are targeting some specific social vulnerabilities that we have here in Portugal and we want them to come here. Um, and also we are part of some uh, working groups from the EPA, the European Venture Philanthropy Association, and some working groups of Global um, Steering Group, the GSG. Uh, and you meet a lot of impact VCs uh, from Europe and even from other parts of the world uh, and try to present social investment fund and when the stars are aligned when yeah. you have an investee that both want to make the investment and we do understand the, the need for coming to Portugal uh, we proceed for the investment uh, I would say that uh, clearly there's there's not a strategy I, I think referrals is, through referrals is the best, uh, the most efficient uh, way to right. attract private right. investors. Uh, and also when you have one, uh, a very good startup with a very good founder, usually that founder is uh, very good also to refer other founders of other startups, of yeah. impact startups. Yeah. Um, that there's a very good way to, and, and they, because usually the founders talk to each other and, uh, and you know, in the best founders talk to each other so usually uh, that's a good strategy okay great uh, so i i usually have um, a question i ask to all of the interviewees at the end of the of the interview and i always ask about the um, um, portuguese ecosystem in general um it's just like a quick fire question just to understand if there's like a buzz if the buzz in portugal is overhyped or if it is um, if it's a realistic, realistic um, depiction of the startup ecosystem. So what is your take on that? I think that's a very good question. Um, well, in the impact scene, Portuguese is being acknowledged by different uh, international associations and experts as uh, one of the most developed national ecosystems for impact. If it's over overly optimistic, not sure. I would say that it's over concentrated, definitely. So it's it's in five, six cities, it's booming uh, like never before. But then if you go out of the bubble, uh, you'll see that there's a lot to be done. I would say that everything that involves uh, startups is usually exaggerated <laughs> because <laughs> there's, you know, it's, it's very dynamic um, environment with fast growing companies with a lot of inspirational stories, with a lot of uh, valuations, that, with a lot of changes from one week to another. But, uh, and, and things tend to be exaggerated, I think. But uh, uh, having said this, I would say that um, maybe the buzz, it's a bit uh, overly optimistic. However, I think it's undeniable that the startup um, that has a, now the startups has a kind of environment that make things much easier for them to thrive when compared to like seven to 10 years ago. And, and that's, that's for sure. Fantastic. So that brings us to the end of the interview, Joao. Um, thank you. It's been a pleasure speaking with you I've, just before you go. So if anybody wants to reach out to Portugal Social Innovation, say they have like a project they're working on or you know, they want to find some sort of equity financing or maybe another investor somewhere. How did they reach you? How did they get in touch to you? Where do they go to? Well, if they go to our website, 
-hmm. it's not an easy website because we are using European funds and the domain is is very it's one of the longest domains you will see in your life. Uh, but if you look for Portugal Social Innovation or Portugal Innovação Social in the Google, you will go right away to the website and the, all our contacts are in our website. We have four instruments uh, with uh, different characteristics for different types of uh, the project's life cycle, uh, different stages. So uh, you can look for us. We have an activation team which is a team of people. There's one member per uh, region. There's five regions in Portugal mainland. We have one member per region that its role is to, um, to meet with entrepreneurs and to uh, try uh, and help them to navigate through all the process and to understand, try to help them understand which would be the instrument that would fit better their uh, financing uh, needs. So uh, we walk the last mile with the projects. So if you go to our website, uh, all the contacts are there. And I think that's the easy way to get in contact with us. Great. Thank you so much, Joao. Hi, everyone. I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about Portuguese startup ecosystem, as well as the top promising scale-ups in Portugal, uh, make sure you go to our website at www.scaleupportugal.tech and download all our reports that we've written for the ecosystem. So if you just want to find out about what other activities we do regarding the ecosystem, how we accelerate um, startups here in Portugal, also make sure you go to www.bgi.pt and send us an email and we'll get back to you. Thank you.